As businesses around the world fight to keep up with such uncertain times, perhaps the one thing that is common to nearly all of them is asking their staff to work from home. Now the need to do this and the speed at which this has happened has been absolutely necessary. But it's also vital for companies to understand that not only do they now have to manage their remote staff to keep up productivity, but they also have a duty of care to prevent stress and anxiety and mental health issues that will undoubtedly increase over the short and medium term. The good news is in the last few years, the behavioral sciences have provided us with a new and exciting understanding of how we can use our psychological and emotional skills and resources intelligently to adapt to challenging times and importantly, build emotional resilience, maintain morale and strengthen our resilience and mental health. So here are three critically important emotionally intelligent behaviors that employees need right now. Although more isolated and distant from you, they still need to be able to see opportunities and have the underpinnings of resilience, not just to work through this adversity, but to come out stronger and more focused. So the first skill that people need is optimism. In over 20 years of research, the emotional skill of optimism has shown up time and time again to be the single greatest predictor of resilience to adversity and stress. And this is the skill that makes a big difference to how people respond to challenging times. This is not just the glass is half full, always look on the bright side of life in difficult times, or a kind of rose colored glasses approach to life. Optimism is a life and business strategy that involves a way of sensing opportunities, of seeing over the horizon and developing a deep emotional courage and resilience in the face of setbacks. And the most exciting reality about optimism is that we now understand the components of it and that they can be taught to people to build emotional strength and resilience. And thankfully, due to modern technology, things like workshops and coaching, the building blocks and strategies that strengthen optimism can all be delivered virtually online. And the second skill that people will need is the skill of self-reliance. Remote working can bring both positive and negative effects. But after more than a quarter of a century of studying how people make their best choices, generate lasting motivation and develop their capacity to rise above the limits of their external circumstances, psychologists are almost unanimous that most of it depends on self-reliance, which is a kind of emotional grit. In other words, it's not passively allowing the circumstances around us to dictate how we respond but building a solid sense of personal responsibility and self-belief to take the initiative and change what we can change and think creatively about how to make the best use of limited resources. So those with higher levels of self-reliance will be able to cope and thrive much better in this new and unsettling environment. You need to ensure that your workforce is motivated and focused and ironically, Working independently from home provides the perfect opportunity to teach employees how to become more self-reliant by taking initiatives, backing themselves, and of course, by taking personal responsibility. The final skills have to do with relationship skills and empathy. Okay, so we're told that social distance is the key to limiting the spread of COVID-19. And we all understand the implications and what this means. But as a psychologist, I'm concerned that the language chosen here could potentially lead to tragic misunderstandings. It's critically important that we distinguish the terms physical distancing and social connection. Psychology has demonstrated convincingly that our relationships with other people are the best antidote to the stresses of life and the single most reliable source of well-being. With staff working in hundreds of different places and away from each other, it's inevitable that we will miss our normal interpersonal human contact that working in an office has made us used to. So while working from home for extended periods, managing stress or the disruption to projects and business, it's vital that you not only support your staff and clients, but help broaden their empathy and broaden their circle of care to include those that may be particularly appreciative of their support. Thankfully, again, due to modern technology, they should be encouraged to continue to reach out to others using virtual channels. 
So in response to the disorganization, medical questions and financial turmoil, your staff will experience an increase in distressing emotions, potentially fear, anxiety, and these can cause them to narrow their responses to the stress and limit their ability to respond adaptively and effectively. But our emotions also involve our intellect and are designed to work together to give us the best chance of adapting, thriving, and ultimately surviving this. So providing your employees with the skills of emotional intelligence is the very best resource that you can provide them to ensure their resilience, mental health, and well-being.